Hello everyone, welcome back for take two of this video, as the first one decided to glitch away and start to get all desynced and all that. But let's continue on into the mountains, since our path is blocked up here. And you know, we can't just chuck that chest off the side of the cliff. No, it's going to remain there pretty much and stay completely in our way. So we have to take the long way around. That dragon's sort of quick, right? Yes. And there's one more thing we need to do in this area. Let's grab an item. Grabbing an item that is... Nope, not this way. I'm already forgetting which way to go. take the free experience up. And pass up that ladder to go around. Ignore the avalanches. Get pegged in the side by a face. Again. And looky, we now have a new I like the tail shield. It makes them it makes Willow use demonically crafted things. Shield made from the tail of a demon. Ah, good for you, Willow. Not being afraid to explore the darker side of items. Avalanche, rock slide, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, I want to go this way now. Because now that we've gotten the shield, we're done with this section of the mountains, really. I mean, I suppose I could go all the way back to the old woman's house to heal up, but there's not much point. Not much point of fighting here either. I don't want to go that way because it's longer. But I still hate facing those skeletons if I've got to face if I've got to face downward. Okay, here we go. Mouthland. We advance too far on this screen, and all those little marks you see, yeah, they'll turn into mouths and start chewing on us. There's only one way around that. doesn't last forever, and these screens are long. So if you hadn't found the specter magic back on top of the mountain, you're going to end up taking probably more damage than you can heal just trying to walk through this area. Granted, the mouths don't do a ton of damage on their own, but man, they, they will chew you up. They don't do a ton of damage with one hit, but... See, that's what happens right there. Very funny game. Walk onto that screen and get chewed on. Only had one more screen to go, but I wouldn't have cleared it without burning through all of my magic, all of my hit points. Yeah. Unfortunately, this means we are now stuck with very low magic. 70 points is not a lot of magic. Just start taking on the caves around here. See if Willow changed back yet. Nope. But we need to talk to him. With the heal ball. Didn't look like a person from Tears Lane just a second ago either. Funny that. But no, we do not know Tears Lane. Name of a small country a little ways from here. 
According to an old legend, the Tiresling Castle is supposed to be the future castle of the peace-loving Elora Danon. Also been said that a brave man would appear and save this world. He awaits that day. Okay. Now, just in case we haven't had enough throwbacks that remind you of Legend of Zelda, we're hitting another one. We gotta go find an old woman. Yeah. So. And we've gotta go find that old woman because we need that man to give us something. And he won't until we talk to the old woman and have a reason for going to Tira's knee. Come on. The rest of you line up to die, like good little bats. Just like that. And this is my old friend, Magic Refilling Mask here. Is he supposed to spawn right here? Yeah, there he is. Come here. I need some magic back. See if I can get two or three of him before I continue. Oh, I'm gonna miss second one. Try one more time and see if he's still here. Nope, he's decided to leave. He'll be back later. Just like you. Well, we got more magic out of you anyway without taking damage. That's a good start. We want to go this way. Why do we want to go this way? Because it's the way to the next actual cave. The cave with the old woman we must seek out. Even though the game gives us no indication of this anywhere, we just got to kind of figure this out and you will see how ridiculous this really is. And it expects us to figure this out without being just completely frustrated. Skeleton. Still got a hit on me. Go down this way. I think we're gonna take more rocks to the face before this is all over. Magic refilling mask, a good friend of mine. Darn it! Come on, respawn. No! Uh. Darn it! Lost the mask. Now, we can try to get across this bridge. But it just makes that weird casting sound as we try. Can't make it. No, we do not get to take that bridge. So we're stuck going in here for the time being. So this is a cave with not just an old woman that will give us a metaphorical letter, but this guy, Eagle Dude. Adik from Eagle Clan. Who has a favor of that he needs to ask? Eagle Clan country was burned by Babamorda's magic, people scattered, and we have no place to go back to. My brother, a bang, and I ran away, but we got separated. If you happen to meet up with him, please give him this wing sword. And you may be thinking at this point, sweet, been a while since we've gotten a sword upgrade. This sword... Notice my strength is all the way down to 20 now. And it swings really slow. So this sword right now is pretty much completely useless. Don't get me wrong, it's the best sword in the game. Just not yet. Skip that. We need to go here. Because here is old woman we must get letter or vote of confidence or something from. Who will tell us that the bridge is cursed and no one can go near Tira's lane? 
That's it. That's what we need to see. All this extra trip... Well, this isn't the extra trip. The extra trip is now for the massive amount of backtracking we're about to have to do. Why? Because we need to get something from Old Man that will allow us to cross that bridge. With me so far? Yeah. So that nice uh, avalanche strewn and you know, just that avalanche and skeleton strewn path, yeah, we gotta go back through it all over again. You? I'll take my magic back. Come on, keep floating. No, don't float that way. Over here. Over here, where I can hit you with my sword and steal the orb you leave behind. Get over here. Come here. Come on. Come on, this way. There you go. Thank you. take even more cheap damage. Just need to fight one of you. Burn magic. I don't get caught and die in a bad spot here. And we'll have to go through this path one more time, too, before the end of the game. Feel free to sing Paw's backtrack song here. And now we can go get the item we need from the old man. That wasn't a good trade-off for me. Something that takes away so much hit points. So many hit points. Yeah. Dude isn't coming back, is he? He knows I want to fight him. Passing up the easy XP. Ask us if we're going to Tiras Lean. Then we should wear witch's shoes. Yeah, we could have told him we were going to Tiras Lean all that time ago. Then again, we also could have chucked that chest off the side of a cliff and not had to take this route at all, but you know. <sighs> so now we have witch's shoes. These will allow us to get past that one part of the cliff, or that one bridge that wouldn't let us by earlier. But I think 
that return trip will be for next time. Because this time, I'm gonna go grind the mass thing until I have enough hit point, or until I can refill my magic points. Yeah! I wanna refill my magic points. So anyway, until then, take care folks. See you later.